liquid lipstick first impressions for you guys today. I'm sorry for the momentary lapse in videos. The one you would have seen right before this one is the Kylie Metals video. Um, I will link all of my other liquid lipstick videos down below. Um, and today I am going to test out the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Lolita, which is like her most well-known and most coveted color, I wanna say. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a clear tubes, clear and skinny, and you can see the actual product in here. Um, I believe this retails for about $20. It's like, it's between $18 and $22 on Sephora, and I will link down below the Sephora website to get it. Um, this particular formula of liquid lipstick I've heard so many good things about. It lists, it's like on the top of a lot of people's favorite lip, liquid lipstick formulas. I have nothing on my lips aside from like remnants of lip balm from earlier, um, which is perfect because I feel like I want to test these out with as few barriers as possible on my lips. This is what the applicator looks like. It's a doe foot applicator. So far as I can tell, it doesn't have a scent. So that's the first coat on my bottom lip. It's pretty opaque. I wouldn't say it's like 100% opaque, but I can't tell if that's just because of the color of my lips and the fact that this is very similar to the color of my lips or if because this is a little bit on the sheer side. I'm just gonna smooth out the bottom lip a little bit with whatever is left on the Doe foot. So yeah, if I look up close, it does look like a little bit sheer, but I don't know, again, I don't know if it's sheer because it's just the color of my lips or that color, or if this is a little bit on the sheer side. So I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more product and spread that out onto the top of my lips. And yeah, it's taking a little bit longer to dry down than let's say like the Kylie lip kits which or the ColourPop ones which were on the more liquidy side and dried down to a powder finish relatively quickly. This I've had it on for about like two minutes now and it's still a little bit tacky but this is not as liquidy. This one is definitely more of a moussey sort of formula. It feels pretty dried down to the touch now so I am going to do a hand test. And if you can see, nothing really came off. So that's nice knowing that it's pretty much dry and it's not really gonna transfer at all. Um, I am basically just gonna go, it's 1.48, so it's almost two o'clock. I'm getting kind of a late start today. Um, but I was at work before this, so I came back and decided to test out the lipstick. I am just going to eat this croissant at some point in the next couple of hours and I'm eventually gonna go hang out with my friends but I'm also going to just do like random stuff around the house so it's not gonna be a ton of intensive stuff I am gonna reapply at some point before I go hang out with my friends so you guys can see how that looks um, you'll be able to see how it looks after I eat this croissant too so um, yeah if I I'm we're gonna go eat dinner so I might be able to vlog and reapply for a third time um, when I'm hanging out with my friends, but I might not. I'll just vlog a little bit. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this so far, um, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hi everyone, so it's now just about 4.45. I had that croissant that I was showing you guys, and I had a grilled cheese sandwich. So I am actually going to reapply this lip product in the car. Um, I noticed after about 20 minutes of wearing this that it did feel pretty drying. This is the first, or no, with the LA Splash I felt the same way too, but this is like noticeably drying on the lips. Like you can feel that it's not um, super comfortable. And that's kind of inherently a quality that happens with liquid lipsticks. But, um, I just remember sitting and like doing whatever on my computer and thinking my lips do feel really dry. But after eating the croissant and a sandwich, you can see there's a little bit of wear on the inside of my mouth, which is not too bad because the color still looks pretty even all the way ac across the lips. I am going to apply this.
And it's definitely deepened the color a little bit and it's evened it out. If I look in the mirror that's right up here on my car, it doesn't look like it's flaked or anything and it doesn't look like it's settled too badly into the lines. So yeah, that second coat definitely didn't emphasize anything or, it, um, but at the same time it didn't have to like smooth everything over or anything over. So that's a pretty good sign when it comes to this lip product. So I am going to go drive to visit my friends to go hang out with my friends at the mall. We're going to go see Finding Dory. We're going to go have some dinner. Um, I might vlog a little bit and I think I said that before, but I'll show you what it looks like after we eat dinner. I think I'm just going to have, I'm not super hungry and my stomach kind of hurts today. Um, so I don't think I'm going to eat a ton, but yeah, I will probably show you guys what it looks like after eating dinner. And then I will show you guys what it looks like after I get out of the movie. now 10 50 um so it's been quite a while since you guys have seen me last and it's been five about five hours since my last check-in with you guys and so this is going to be my final check-in um i mentioned this in my second check-in but it does feel a little bit dry it's not like really uncomfortable right now at this point but it's noticeable on my lips it's not like a super comfortable formula but it's not super super drying either it's definitely mostly worn off in the center of my lips leaving like sort of like a lip line sort of deal around the outside of my lips so not super flattering but let's see how a third coat goes on top the product itself didn't really flake off on me during the day it just faded after eating which was a pretty good sign and again it felt drying but it wasn't uncomfortable to the point where I wanted it off of my lips. It was just kind of an expected dry feeling which you would get with most matte liquid lipsticks. So yeah, that is my impressions, my first impressions review of the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lolita. I will say one of the best parts about this line is that there are so many colors to choose from. She has brights, neutrals, reds, darks. She has, I think, purples, like blue. She has a black. So there's quite a bit of, um, there's a quite a few shades that you can choose from if you are somebody that's not necessarily looking for a nude, which a lot of the liquid lipstick brands offer first. Again, I will be doing more liquid lipstick reviews, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and stick around. You can subscribe and you'll be able to get the videos into your inbox of sorts as I post them. So yeah, I hope you guys are liking this video and this series. And if you guys liked, if you guys have tried these liquid lipsticks, let me know what you think about them. And if you guys think I should pick up any other shades, I would love to know in the comments down below. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys soon.